What up guys, this is Cubs here. So, today I'm actually going to be doing a review of two different items. One is a juice and one is a tank. Uh, the juice is from Longhorn, what is it? Longhorn Vapor Company. As you can tell, I'm wearing my Texas Longhorns shirt. Uh, don't mess with Texas. So, what do I got here? Uh, the juice today is called Six Shooter. It's a cinnamon vanilla custard with graham cracker finish. Uh, it's a really good juice. I enjoyed it a lot. I got a 36 milliliter bottle or 35 milliliter bottle. It's very custardy. It's very, uh, there's a hint of cinnamon, but it, you get more of the custard, the sweet cinnamon, cinnamon exhale. It's not, there's not a lot of cinnamon flavor to it, just a, a touch, uh, but it's very custardy. It's a really nice, thick, dense vape. It's enjoyable. Now I'm doing this on a, uh, what is it, five wraps of 23 gauge from my sponsors over at Modwire. I'll have a link below, along with the link for uh, Longhorn Vapor Company. Let's go ahead and get some more. I'm almost done with this bottle, actually. Mm. So, thought I'd give you guys a, a new view. This is my living room. Well, part of it. If you guys can see the mess over there, sorry. We're still packing stuff away and finding where everything needs to go. So, about the company. They've got five under the Longhorn. Five juices? Four or five? Five. This is new. the newest one to their line. It's five. Uh, again, it's cinnamon vanilla custard with a graham cracker finish. It's custardy. It's definitely custardy, but not like the old school custard that everybody got freaked out about. Uh, it's that new, just kind of vanilla custard type flavor. And the, uh, the cinnamon, like I said, is very, very simple cinnamon, not too heavy. Nice thick VG. Now this larger bottle came in a awesome little box. It has all the details, uh, the warnings and everything burned into the box. It's really cool. I don't know what I'll put in here. It'll probably end up being for pre-built coils or something. But cool little box. Uh, it's a great flavor. I enjoy it. I hope to try the other uh, Longhorn line. They do have two other lines that they carry, which I'll be reviewing shortly. But I wanted to get to this one because it isn't the newest one to their line uh, from the Longhorn line itself. Along with it, they sent me a Morpheus V2. Morpheus V2 is a tank. Uh, some photos. Uh, it comes with two coils, a 0.2 and a 0.5, I believe, or a 0.3, 0.2-ish, and a 0.5-ish. You know, the coils vary from coil to coil just a little. 
So I'm rocking this right now at 79 watts. I just turned it down a little. So here's some photos. It came in an awesome, cool little uh, plastic box. What I enjoyed about the, the packaging itself is that you pull the top off and it's actually another box, a little cardboard box with the instructions and the additional coil inside. Really neat little packaging. Uh, the downside of it is there was a little black tab that held it in place to keep it centered inside that box. That came off. Uh, it was stuck inside the mouthpiece and I didn't know. So the first time I went to take a hit, not paying attention, I almost choked to death on it. But uh, other than that, the packaging was really cool. I enjoyed it. Uh, the way it looked, uh, very friendly for if you're gonna go pick it up at a store, it's eye-catching. So there's some photos of it. Now, when you break it down, it's the bottom that holds the coil, it's the tank itself, and then you have your mouthpiece. Let me start with the mouthpiece. It's got an adjustable airflow on it, two little holes, but I find that it's a little bit loose. Uh, so if you take it, the mouthpiece off, this piece comes off very easily. There's no uh, friction between it, so it, it comes off very easy. Secondly, it looks a little uh, chintzy. Chintzy? It looks a little cheap. Uh, it's black, it's different from the rest of the tank, but uh, not only that, I've had it for couple weeks now and the black is kind of rubbing off. Now this is made by this is made by Vapor Tech. I don't know. So I'll just add the little name voiceover real quick. It'll be simple. <clears throat> but uh yeah they Longhorn apparently had a hand in uh suggesting or creating the Morpheus version 2. It's very large airflow holes across the bottom. There's two of them for wide open. Uh, they're larger than the Arctic V2, or not the Arctic, damn it. The, uh, what's that other one? Uh, I can't think of names anyways. Uh, it's bigger than any of the other tanks that I've seen lately. Uh, and that's awesome for that part of it. Now, when you go to a smaller version of the hole, it's slightly smaller, the airflow hole, on one side just slightly, and then it closes off the other side. You only have two options, wide open or half only one air hole with uh, slightly smaller on the other side. What does this do? Changing the air air holes on it. Uh, there's a slight difference, not much, just slight. However, uh, it's completely pointless because Although you have the, the very large air holes for airflow, the chimney down the middle that connects with the coil is very narrow. So if you're looking for a really breathy, airy hit, you still have to kind of pull on this in order to get a lot of airflow going through it. Not the biggest clouds for a tank that I, I've seen uh, for the coil type tanks like the uh, Atlantis or the Arctic. So, is it the Arctic? It's the Atlantis. Okay, so the Atlantis has uh, slightly 
smaller air holes than this but uh, yeah still not impressed by the actual airflow on it Atlantis V2 has better airflow honestly and it's got the bigger chimney more airflow although I don't like the drip tip on that one either because it's huge uh, my one concern on this is when unscrewing this for the first time the glass slid right out no issues came right off and separated from the metal uh, enclosure so when I filled up the tank and I went to refill it the second time I unscrewed it and the glass came right off so the little bit of juice that was still in the tank dribbled out the side uh, so that's an issue to me if I unscrew it and there's juice in it I don't want the glass to come out so I had to make sure I grab onto the the glass when I'm unscrewing it all in all if you're looking for flavor honestly I think there's better better tanks out there I prefer the Arctic and uh, yeah I prefer the Arctic over this uh, denser clouds better clouds airflow ratio to to vape production is pretty damn good uh, just my preference flavor wise still not the best uh, I'm using the the Longhorn juice in this and it seems like it's missing something now keep in mind it's a I believe it's a 70 30 mix here uh, doesn't say but I believe it's a 70 30 mix but like I said in this tank it, it's kind of like the thicker it might be the juice because it is thick it doesn't look well also, I noticed if I set this down for a little bit, it does gurgle a little when I, I take the first few hits. So, yeah. I don't know if I need to crank it up some more or what. But, all in all, the, the Morpheus V2, there's other options out there that are most likely easier to get a hold of and... Uh, easier to get a hold of the coils. The only place I've seen the coils for this so far when searching is Longhorn Vapor Company. So uh, keep in mind ease and accessibility when you're going to purchase and go pick up those coils. Where can I pick up coils? You're out traveling somewhere, you know, where's the vape shop? Do they carry the coils for my tank? Uh, that's a big deal. You need to make sure it's accessible to you. Uh, so, Morpheus V2. I would pass on it. Yeah, hard pass. I'm good. Don't need it. As for the juice, definitely gotta try it. You guys gotta get a hold of it when you can, and I would definitely suggest this one. Uh, all in all, Longhorn Vapor Company, six shooter, it's badass juice. Let me just touch base real quick. The labels on this, yes, I still talk about labels. Uh, had a comment recently, you guys all, seriously bro, you still talk about labels and bottles? That's so 2013. So, yeah, I still talk about them. It's an advertisement. So you've got your nice label. Nothing that alludes to uh, trying to catch the children vaping. All right, and I'll show some more pictures up here. And the back shows the ingredients. I like that. 
very clear. It's large enough that you don't have to get a magnifying glass for most people. And uh, huge warning. So you have your ingredients, which are this big, and your warning's like this big on it, which is great. It's the standard keep out of reach of children, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it also has their website and Facebook link and whatnot. So I enjoyed it. Six Shooter, try it. If you like vanillas and custards and cinnamon, try it. It's enjoyable. It's a, it's a great juice. Let me go back to vaping it over here. So, guys, big shout out to my sponsors, uh, Smiley E-Liquid, Team Mod Wire, the whole mod line, Mod Shine, Mod Sauce, Mod Armory, Mod, 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 Mod. Links below. Be sure to check out my website, flavorstrainer.com. I'm going to have a running blog up soon, too. Check me out. Uh, hopefully one day I'll be as cool as Grim Green. One day. Uh, and uh, other than that, as usual, vape on vape pets. Have a good one, guys.